Did you know there's one thing that you need to add in every single email to increase your sales dramatically? I'm super excited to show you what that is in this episode coming up. We're going to be talking about really selling what you do and doing it kind of unapologetically. I'm going to show you a super practical way. Don't forget about how you can include this one thing in your email that's going to really tie it together. But I think it's really important to share more money making strategies, more things that you could refer back to and listen to over and over again, you know, when sales are slow or when you want to just hit another revenue milestone in your business, when you want to scale up or when you just want to take a break. And so you know that you need to make some extra money in the season so that you can go on a great vacation or take some time off or, you know, go into a different book, a different book, a different project, like writing a book. So wherever you're, you're at really our heart is for you guys to use these strategies and grow your businesses and do it in a way full of integrity, serving people first, making an impact, but not being afraid to actually market your business and make money and sell what you do confidently. So we were hosting our funnels bootcamp. I've been talking about it um, on our email newsletter, as well as uh, I think I've mentioned it in the podcast a couple of times. And so this month we had a really awesome funnels bootcamp started the year with our TBL plus students like on the right foot talking about um, what's working now. And so we kind of run our own, call it our own little marketing lab with all the new strategies like we're constantly testing in the business. And now that we have the last two years of coaching program, we've been testing these out with our coaching clients and it's been really awesome. And so when I mentioned this one strategy for email and cash flowing your email, um, it was funny because the chat erupted. Everyone was super excited, even though it's something honestly is not this like groundbreaking strategy, but it is something really, really helpful. And so I wanted to share it with you too, because it's one of those things that you should be using in every single one of your emails. And it's this concept. Um, I think Russell Brunson was actually the one um, I first heard talk about this idea of selling your stuff in every email, even if it's passive, even if it's not a direct pitch, linking to one of your products or programs or services in every single one of your emails. And so I kind of call this the, the, um, the subtle pitch or, uh, the, the low key pitch. And it's such a good way of doing this in all of your emails. And this could be, um, just the same exact application in your blog or your social media, um, you know, or your text, marketing campaigns, something I do all the time. So if I'm telling a story or I'm letting people know about something happening in the business, I'm always linking to the product. So for example, I sent an email literally today, earlier today, and I was telling a story about how some of the members in the business lounge were experiencing some issues with their funnels and how we fix them. And, you know, telling that story when I talked about our business lounge members, I hyperlinked the business lounge, right? So super subtle, super simple, but that link, just having that link there tells people, oh, you know, there's more than just free content in our company. And yeah, we produce a ton of free content, but we produce two to three times more paid content for coaching clients and our TBL uh, students content calendar system students, like all of our paid customers. And so I think especially online, we get hyper-focused on serving people. And that's so important. I want you to do that. That speaks of your integrity in your heart. But we forget that we're running a business and that we have to present ourselves as a company if we want to stay in business and be able to have impact and grow, you know, our, our mission hire people at some point if you haven't already, right? And give back to the community that you serve in. And so I really just, it's such a passion of mine to to really encourage you and empower you to feel confident when you sell, to not um, shy away from the fact that you're a business and that you need to keep the business going if you're going to produce this awesome free service, 
you know, for the world. There's a balance here. Your content is serving people and it's awesome. And you get to market through your content, but we can't forget the market through your content part and just get over here on this side where we're just creating content for the sake of it, not using it as a vehicle and a tool to actually bring out people who want to work with us who say, Hey, yeah, me, I want to buy from you. Or I want you to actually, um, you know, offer the service for me. So I just wanted to share this subtle strategy that you could use is to think about how you can actually sell your products and services in every single piece of content, even if it's just something that you mentioned in passing. Okay. All right. So now I want to talk to you about actually pitching in your emails and how you can pitch in every single one of your emails, even if they're free content pieces. And it's this thing I call the PS pitch. And you've probably seen it on other people's emails, but very few people are actually implementing it and implementing it in the right way. So if you ever want to experiment with increasing your cash flow, especially if you have evergreen offers, meaning, you know, there are offers that you could sell at any time that don't require you to do a big launch um, or anything like that. These are perfect offers for you to link in your PS pitch. And I do this in every single one of our emails and who will make anywhere from 3000 to 10,000 a month just from these PS pitches. Yes, I track them. I track the sales um, and it's really incredible to see. So this is one of those like little tools that you could have in your toolkit if maybe life got in the way and you can't have a launch, you know, this month, or you are behind on promoting products, or uh, you just need a little boost of cash flow, whether you have a service or a course or a membership, or you sell physical products, which in your case, you're probably selling in every email anyway. So uh, PS pitches are really helpful. And here's the, psycho the psychology really behind them. So when people are reading emails, they're usually scanning them first. They will do a quick scan. And I don't know about you, but I'm a scanner. I'm definitely a scanner. I will, I will look at the bold and the buttons, and I will decide if I want to read the whole email. And that's what the PS pitch is for. It's for the scanners in your, uh, you know, email list. So it's for the people who just need a quick punchline of either what's happening in the email or what your offer is. And so this is perfect for those emails where you're sending free content. And usually those happen in our business once or twice a week. And I have a lot of room, right, for my PS pitches because I'm serving with free content before then. So the PS pitch is one of my favorite um, strategies. In fact, we had one person in our boot camp implement this and she have the screenshot. She said, woohoo, I just got one more sign up for my beta, beta group coaching course by adding a PS call to action at the bottom of my newsletter. Now to try to fill the last seven seats. And this was literally over the weekend. So our bootcamp was on Friday. She implemented this. And I think this, I think she posted it Sunday or Monday. So two, three days in between, she implemented the strategy and she got one additional sign up. And this is not from a huge email list or anything like that. So it's really cool for you to use as well. So I wanted to show you how you could be positioning your email PS pitches. And what I do is I usually have a couple of pre-written PS pitches that I use depending on the product that I'm selling. And again, remember, these are evergreen offers. So in our business, we will have like templates and resources and swipe files um, that are not uh, closed or open, right? Like most of our courses or memberships or coaching programs. And these are the perfect types of offers that you can send in those emails. So here is a quick PS template, PS pitch template that you can use. So you could say something like, hey, PS, speaking of, and you insert the topic related to your product, service, or course. And even better if the email that you're sending is related to that topic. So for example, I was sending our newsletter on different email marketing strategies that you could use to actually grow your email list. And I decided to 
include in the PS pitch one of our products, which is the ultimate email marketing swell file kit. And so that contains five of our most profitable email marketing sequences. There's like 56 pages of emails and that's the perfect kind of product, the bridge, right? To, to actually sell people on because I'm talking about emails in the actual email and I can add the PS pitch to a resource that would help our audience like create emails faster. So for me, I could say something like PS, speaking of email marketing or crushing your email marketing, did you know that we help and then you're going to insert your target market? So we help small businesses and entrepreneurs just like you to, and then insert the benefit, right? So again, you're going speaking of related topic. Did you know that we help your target market too? And then you insert a benefit, get all the details. Plus maybe you have a discount or a, a bonus, just an enticing offer, something that would get people excited about it by clicking here and then literally just hyperlink to a page where people can buy your thing. And that's it. It's that simple. Just a small PS pitch and let people know. Another thing you could do if you don't have a sales page yet or a page where people can work with you, and this is awesome for early bird lists or uh, getting a feel for how many people would actually be interested in a new product that you're releasing. You could say, reply back to this email and I will send you all the details. I do this all the time, especially when we are about to launch something new. And then we can actually on the back end, when people reply, we can send them the details and pitch them in that, in that format. So I hope that this makes sense. I hope that it was helpful. I hope that this template helps you to write your own PS pitches and start implementing these on every single one of your emails, especially when you're sharing free content. So if this episode was helpful, let me know in the comments over on YouTube. And if you're listening on the podcast, I would love to hear from you too. Email me or send me a DM on Instagram message, Chris as well. We'd love hearing from you guys to figure out, you know, what we could do more of to continue serving you. If you enjoyed this topic, if you want to hear from, you know, us on a different topic, we'd love to hear that too. All right. I love you. I mean that I'm sending you a big beso, lots of blessings, and continue moving forward in your God-given calling. We are so, guys, I'm gonna end with this. We are in a time right now, if you're listening to this podcast episode, as it's released, where there's so much instability in our world. And I truly believe that God has his hand on small business owners. We are here to do more than just business, but to make serious kingdom impact. So I hope that you're taking the work that you do very seriously because God has put you in this position, in this time, in this place for a reason, just like Esther for such a time as this. So I'm sending you big blessings, big hugs, and I hope that you're moving forward courageously in the calling that God has placed on your heart. All right, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.